Well, this proposed casino and entertainment complex is continuing to take shape. Caesars now has an architect for the $400 million project. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons tells us when the site will likely start to transform. Danville voters chose to let Caesars Entertainment redevelop the long vacant Schoolfield Mill on Election Day, but the site looks the same as it did in November. However, progress on the casino and resort is happening behind the scenes, which is encouraging to City Manager Ken Larkin. They've uh, talked to us on a number of occasions about various uh, technical issues, and you know we feel like the ball is moving in the right direction. We now know who will bring Caesars vision to life. It hired architectural firm the Marnell Company this week, Vegas veterans most well known for building the Bellagio. Every step of the way is exciting. Uh, every step of the way gets us closer to having the resort up and running. The big plans for this big lot remain on track, but it will still be a while before shovels are in the ground. Either way, business owners I talked to down Main Street said they're excited for when the casino finally does open. We hit the jackpot, literally. <laughs> Rose Shields clothing shop is right around the corner from the school field site. She believes the Caesars crowd will be the perfect boost for her business. We're doing an expansion in this building. We are preparing when that casino is open that we will be um, growing even bigger than what we are now. Survey crews have started scoping out the property, but Caesars does not expect to break ground until later this year. The pieces are falling into place as evidenced by the architect's election, which gives Shields and Larkin another the reason to dream about opening day. We laughingly say we'll be open till midnight taking tokens, but hey, if that's what it takes. Use those revenues to help disenfranchised communities, and that's what we're going to do. In Danville, Taj Simmons, 10 News working for you. You know, a casino is going to be so much prettier than that building. Oh, I, yes. <laughs> and the builder of the Bellagio, that seems like a big deal. It does seem like a big deal. So, yeah, I just can't wait mm -hmm. to see what that looks like. And we, we can actually tell you that Caesars is hoping to cut the ribbon on that complex coming up in 2023. Looking forward to that.